Good morning. All right, today we're going to go through heat wave, highlights, hue, saturation, and image mask. This one's going to be fun. I seem to use the same Papa John stuff every time, but I'm going to keep using it anyway because you've already seen what it looks like before. Yeah. All let's right, go. so let's grab heat wave, throw it in here. And basically, this is just a look that makes everything look orange and blown out. And here's a amount slider so you can adjust how much is blown out it just makes it look like it is really hot and dry there okay so let's pop that out and let's go with highlights now what this does is this throws like these interesting little flying lights through everything so let's go ahead and play it so you can see what it looks like right now Hay un gran pizzero. See that? Detrás de una gran pizza. It just kind of loops these little weird looking highlight things. Okay, so you have temperatures. You have a warm temperature, a cool temperature, and a neutral temperature. If we go with the warm. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizzero. And this is what the cool looks like. Okay. And this is what neutral looks like. And you have an intensity. Now, if you have your intensity right in the middle, it won't affect the rest of the clip. So if you have it at 50%, then it's not going to affect the rest of the clip. But if you turn it down, it will affect how much the highlight comes in. And if you turn it up, it will affect the entire clip. All right, and then you have an offset. And you can actually just grab this little thing here and use it for the offset. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. And that's pretty much it. So your offset is kind of like a random number generator for the highlight. So you can set that there. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. So there you go. It's kind of like a caustic type of interesting little effect. All right, hue saturation. This is pretty typical, same as a hue saturation filter that would be in Photoshop. You have an amount, you have the hue, so you can basically just recolor everything. And it looks like it only goes from 360 to zero, so you can't drag down, you can only drag up. Una gran pizza. Hay un gran pizzero. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me finish I this and then go over there. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, as soon as you're back from lunch, then we'll go through and, and um, do the rest of it. Okay. And caption the show. Okay. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. Sure. Always. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay, and then you have your saturation, which obviously makes it really saturated or not. So you can turn something black and white with that if you want to. And changing the hue, if you turn it black and white, changing the hue won't affect anything. And what's neat is if you add the saturation, it doesn't add to the value of it. It only adds just saturation. And then value is your brightness. So you can do some fun effects with that if you want. And then you have an amount, which after you've done all this, the amount just kind of removes the effect. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. Okay. Let's get rid of that. 
And let's do image mask. This is the fun one. All right, image mask requires a source. And basically what it's going to do is, in the old days you'd put a channel up here and you'd right click this and make it an uh, alpha track mat or whatever. This is basically the same thing. Let's grab this Telemundo Las Vegas over here. I'm gonna click on it. It's over in my bin and I'm going to apply the clip. And you can see that there, that now it's following my logo here. So if I had something else underneath it, you would see the Papa John's commercial inside the T. All right, let's mess with it a little bit. You can use the different channels as your image mask. If you see if I use red, you get kind of a transparency to it. Green, I don't have any green channels in there. Blue, I don't have any blue in there. And then alpha gives you just the outline because that's what the alpha channel is. And then luminance, which gives you the brightness of it. You can invert the mask and make it transparent where the, the video should be. And then you have an offset. Now, the only thing that I don't see, which I think would be great, is a scale. Because right now, this looks pretty good, but I'd like it to be smaller. I want to scale this down, and I can't do that. So let's throw a different one in there. Let's throw that guy in there. Let's see what he does. There we go. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizzero. Now you can do this with anything. I'm doing it with the logos because that's what I have right now. But if you wanted to do it with like a, a weird funky diamond shape or some kind of crazy, I don't know, doorway to have video in there. Let's say you had something over here, two kids talking, and then there's a doorway and you want your own video, something completely different, and you have this funky doorway like that. You would be able to create that shape, use that as your image mask, and put the video in there. That's how you would do it. Okay? So basically, it just cuts out whatever video it's applied to. All right, so that was those four effects. Sorry, I was over on my generators. I need to scroll down now. That was these four effects of heat wave, highlights, hue saturation, and image mask. And the next one we will do is indie red, insect eye, intro flashes, and isolate. I'm going to skip this one because this is one that I created. All right. Thank you very much for watching.